Yo, what is up guys? This is Troy D from the Troy D 24-7 Mode channel, your source for on point and no hype reviews. We are back again, everybody. We are back with another fragrance review right here, guys. It is not my day off. Matter of fact, I just got off a 12-hour shift at the hospital. But once I got out, I actually got a comment on one of my videos that made me feel real good. And I'll paste it right here, guys. And I felt so good, in fact, that I realized, oh my God, I have a huge to-do list of fragrances to review matter of fact a lot of the stuff that you guys want me to review i've already tried them so it's only the reviewing part the recording part that takes time and if you are a nurse like me that's super busy that's quite hard to do and so right now i will record this one because i know a lot of y'all are looking forward to this review on this summer banger that is pretty hyped right now. Now, before I continue, please do not forget to like and subscribe, guys, okay? Liking, subscribing, and watching the ads is a great big deal to this channel, especially that we are headed towards 22,000 subscribers. So please continue all your support, guys. Again, thank you so much for everything, the good comments, everything, uh, all the compliments that I've been getting. Thank you so much for your support. And the fragrance that we'll be talking about today is none other than Maybizu, A Wondrous Flight. Yes, Maybizu, A Wondrous Flight. Maybizu means my kisses, all right? And this is A Wondrous Flight. This is my first foray into this house. I have never tried, I mean, prior to this, any of their fragrances, guys. But this is something that I found out through Fragcom is pretty hype, guys, all right? I see bottles selling, bottles selling out, and even some of my decanters, one of my favorites, Jared Miller, I believe he has reloaded on these uh, decants of this fragrance uh, over and over, all right? So he has been selling out on decants of a wondrous flight. So anyways, I was really curious about what this was. And of course you have this like real pretty bottle, real nice uh, artistry on the bottle, on the label. So I had to know what it was. And then <laughs> once I got in there, I find out that this is another Tigar uh, or Tigar-like clone. Ah! And I was like, oh, oh my God, it's another one. Holy crap. And you know, this is something that I guess it's because the OG Bulgari Tigar is just so expensive. And maybe if you don't know Fragcom, it's so exclusive that you don't know about this. And, you know, fragrances like Vibrato have capitalized on that. Clones have capitalized on that. And then here we are with A Wondrous Flight. I could not believe it. I had to check the notes and I was like, ah, it's there. <laughs> you have your ginger and your grapefruit i was like that's it it is well i mean prior to testing that just on paper it looked like a tigar clone so anyways simple answer it is sort of like tigar but in this review we are going to test how different it is from tigar of course as always i'm gonna break the scent down uh, step by step and i will compare it to tigar i will compare it to vibrato because i'm pretty sure at this point that's all you guys want to know this might be one of my shortest reviews all right anyways let's go spray this thing right now mm. okay guys now let's talk about this fragrance right here may bizu a wondrous flight now this one right here let me tell you i mean well i don't need to tell you guys how uh really how dope the OG Tigar formula is. It's been copied again by many fragrances like this one because it's just effective, all right? It's a combination of bitter grapefruit, uh, some citruses, and some ginger. And the thing is with the zing of ginger, the citruses, the bitterness of that grapefruit put together, it's just a compliment getting, mood enhancing, mood brightening formula but it has just the zing, that zing of ginger that brings out kind of like a draw-in type of spice in that formula, all right? To me, it is a one-of-a-kind formula that when I smell it, I just go, that's the Tigar formula. So again, this has been copied by Suspiro Vibrato, and it's here also with Maybisu A Wondrous Flight. Now, I'm sure the thing you guys want to know is what are the modifiers, okay? What's so different here in Mebizu A Wondrous Flight. So the first thing that I found slightly different here is that in the beginning, you have an effervescent uh, hit of citrus, 
which I believe this is the bergamot and the lemon together, but really it comes out in an effervescent way. I mean, it's not as dominant as the Tigar combo, but it's still gonna be there. And this is why if you see feedback on this fragrance, you have people saying, oh, it's a really, really nice citrus. It's one of the best citruses that I've tried. That's because there is an initial hit of a mood enhancing, uh, effervescent type citrus here in this fragrance, care of the lemon and bergamot. So another note that's here in this fragrance is mandarin. And for some of y'all that are thinking that this might be a blast of mandarin, some zesty mandarin, I can tell you that upon testing this fragrance, it is not, all right? The mandarin here is more like a mandarin peel, which is actually slightly bitter, and it does complement the grapefruit, which is also a bitter grapefruit, guys, all right? So it's more of a mandarin peel. It is not a zesty blast of mandarin, nor is it the same mandarin in aquatic fragrances, all right? It's more of like a mandarin peel that goes with this, all right? But again, you will get, in this intro, a huge wallop of the Tigar formula, all right? Plus that effervescent citrus. And what I can say is that this one, maybe Sue, A Wondrous Flight, felt stronger than Tigar, to be honest. It really reminded me of Black Panther, actually, in the way that the strength was of this Tigar formula intro, all right? So it is a strong initial hit, again, with some slight effervescent citrus. Mandarin is more on the bitter side, that is what you get in the opening here. Okay, now let's talk about the initial sillage and projection of this. This one is obviously gonna be an aura scent. And it's a consistent aura scent for, I would say, like up to six hours, guys, all right? So you have a consistent aura scent with this. So for those performance heads that are looking for an impact, like strong impact, strong sillage, and scent trail uh, type of Tigar formula, you will definitely find it here, guys, all right? Now, Vibrato, I think, isn't as strong as this one. And there are reasons for that, which is the actual notes of Vibrato. It's much more complex than this one. This one, I would say, is a straight shooter, okay? It takes the Tigar formula, boosts it up, and projects it real hard, all right? So I would say that in terms of the opening and even the mid, this one is more close to Tigar than Vibrato. Okay, now here's an important one, guys. The coverage, all right? This is the important one. How long is the coverage of the Tigar Blast? Grapefruit and ginger. To me, upon testing this fragrance multiple times, I even got like a big 5 ml right here. Guys, the Tigar Formula Blast lasted up to seven hours. <laughs> okay, seven hours of straight up Tigar Blast formula. And that is a really, really long coverage of that. Okay, no evolutions, nothing, straight up seven hours of Tigar. Again, if you compare this to Suspiro Vibrato, Vibrato actually goes through some floral changes as well as some powdery notes, all right? So that's the big difference. In Vibrato, there's actually a change. This one does not change for several hours, but it will give you what you want if you want the Tigar formula, if you like the ginger, grapefruit, citrus combination, it will give it to you for seven hours. And that's usually, man, past the dry down of a lot of fragrances, all right? I monitored it every hour and I was like, holy smokes, this Tigar smell is going all the way up to seven hours. So this is for people that, man, really like this stuff. And again, can't deny it. I'm, to be honest, kind of getting tired of it, but... I know there will be a lot of people that will smell this for the first time or who are in love with the Tigar formula and wish that the opening salvo lasted a little bit longer. So this is the answer to that because you have a seven hour blast of that Tigar formula. Opening salvo going up to seven hours past most perfumes in terms of mid and the beginning. So that is a crazy coverage here with A Wondrous Flight. Now I'm sure you guys are looking at the mid and you're like, oh, there's pepper and there's jasmine and iris. Guys, I was only able to smell these past the seven hour mark. All right, past 
the seven hour mark. The Jasmine, I mean, barely because it kind of like went with the Tigar formula and then it got peppery, a little bit peppery after the seven hour mark with some powdery sweet iris. And this is like something that is so like low key at this point. And I'm sure if you were wearing this fragrance, you wouldn't even bother because all you're smelling is Tiger, 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 Tiger for seven hours. And then, oh, slightly spicy, slightly powdery sweet. But then you wouldn't really care at that point. I mean, it's seven hours of that. And after that is only when some of these mid notes appear and they're actually really quite faint or really embedded down there because the initial formula is really that strong. And finally, let's look at this dry down. Now, this dry down is quite interesting because it has elements of hachivat, you know, where you have some oak moss, you do have some patchouli, and with this like slight leather a la Aventus, that's something you get at the end of this fragrance. It's a lot of oak moss, patchouli, there's some vetiver, but not really. It's mostly patchouli, oak moss, and leather, light leather right here towards the end. Further continuing kind of like the trend of this fragrance. Again, it's kind of like a Hachivat-like ending to this fragrance, guys, all right? And so for me, I was still feeling almost like the same. It's like a known sensation at this point. You know what I mean? It's like you smell Hachivat. Well, now I can smell it in Supersonic by ATH. That's kind of like a spoiler alert. But I also can smell this kind of combination, oak moss, leather, and patch. Uh, towards the end of Maybe Sue A Wondrous Flight. Now, overall though, you're not going to feel a lot of transitions. That is something I will say. You'll feel that it's going towards the end, but in terms of the continuity of the notes headed to like a tenacious patchouli and oak moss dry down, you'll feel like you've smelled it before in other fragrances. That is what I can say. But definitely it does continue past that all the way up to, guess what? past 13 hours, all right? But it's not like significantly different. And so that is what I can say. This is a fragrance that there's not gonna be a lot of changes, all right? There's not gonna be a lot of changes in this fragrance, which is big contrast to Vibrato. This one is a little bit more comparable to Tigar, which doesn't change a lot either. But this one, I gotta say, has a wallop. It's got a strong wallop, strong sillage, long coverage that is longer, in my opinion, than Tigar itself, all right? Again, it reminded me of Black Panther in a way. So long coverage here. This fragrance basically is for the straight shooters, my mainstream guys that just want to get complimented, that just want a nice personal mood enhancer that uses the Tigar formula, who wishes that the coverage was longer, you will get it right here. Without a doubt, you will get compliments because I got the same ass compliments I got when I was wearing Tigar or even the clone or even Vibrato. Same type of stuff. Once that ginger and grapefruit hit the air, you're going to get the compliments. So this is for you guys, those that want a straight shooter version. If you think that Vibrato was kind of unisex, which I think it is. It was too unisex and you want something that's more masculine, then this is the one right here. Also, I will say this, that in terms of the bottle, this fragrance has the nicest one compared to the scepter-like bottle of Tigar that kind of looks depressing, actually. It looks like a black scepter. It doesn't look as good as this. This one is more appropriate, even compared to Vibrato, which is like green, like that doesn't make sense either. This one is yellow because it's citrusy. It's a citrus blast with grapefruit. So it's got a yellow bottle with like really nice, Nice artwork. I would say A1 on the artwork, guys. And so I think in terms of the bottle, full bottle, this one looks nice. And again, very, very usable. Very usable. So even um, if you use it, you can use it all year because it has draw-in properties from the spices and the ginger. And even the dry down is pretty nice with some smooth leather in there, guys. Like this is a very usable perfume, guys. And honestly, it might be 
a full bottle worthy fragrance to y'all. And I say to y'all, not to me, because I don't know where you guys are at in your perfume journey, okay? This whole Maybe Sue thing is another way of throwing the Tigar formula out there and hitting people that have never smelled it whatsoever, which means they will fall in love with it. They will talk about it. This is an old formula that has worked before. And that's what it is. You know, people talk about it. It gets hype. It sells bottles, all right? But I don't know, like I said, if you are uh, already in the trenches and you already own Tigar, you have a clone of Tigar, you have Vibrato, you have a clone of Vibrato. I don't know, okay? I gave you guys as much details as I can on what is so different with this one. So that's up to you. If you guys want to dive in and buy a 250 bottle, 100 ml uh, uh, fragrance, uh, this may be sue a wondrous flag. So it really depends with y'all because again, there are a lot of options. I would say the Tigar is the most expensive one, 400, 300. Um, Vibrato is comparative to this one on the price, 250-ish. So, you know, it really depends on you guys. Try them all out. I've said what I said. This one is a straight, long coverage. I mean, think about Bulgari Tigar, but eternal and super strong. That's what it is, all right? So compared to the others, guys, all right? So this is pretty nice. I would say that this is a full bottle-worthy fragrance, and especially if you don't own any of them, and you're not too big on complexities or unisex changes, florals and stuff like that, you want to get away from that, then definitely try this because I think this might be your citrusy summer banger for 2024. Usage-wise, obviously, this is going to be a grabber. It can be an upscale grabber. I believe Vibrato beats it on the upscale grabber range. But in terms of grabber, and we're talking about all weather, but of course, spring and summer, this is where you can actually enjoy these citruses in a hot, humid day, then definitely this is it right here. I mean, I would use this, to be honest, on date night, cooler weather because of the ginger, because of the ginger zing and the draw in of that, plus the peppery notes, the leathery oak moss dry down. To me, uh, this is more of kind of like a date night type of fragrance or if you're going out at night, guys. But of course, with that long coverage, like I said, of that Tigar over seven hours, this can be a hot weather grabber as well due to that coverage. You don't get a lot of coverage on the latter part anymore. It's really a long seven hour coverage of the intro. Also, this can be unisex, but to me, this is masculine. All right, to me, this is a masculine scent. And I haven't tried any of the other Maybe Sue uh, type fragrances. So let me know on the comments below if there are others that are hype that you want me to check out and review. I will definitely look into them, guys. And that is it. That is my no hype review on this fragrance. Maybe Sue, a wondrous flight. Let me know in the comments below what y'all think of this fragrance. If you have gotten the same results as I have, I would like to know on the comments below. And what do you prefer more? This one or Tigar or Vibrato? All right, let me know in the comments below. And I will post uh, on the end of this video some links to the Tigar clone video that I did and also to Vibrato. Okay, I will link that as well. And again, thank you so much for watching, guys. I'll see you guys on the next video. I've got a long laundry list of stuff that I need to review. Oh my gosh, Supersonic, uh, RDHP20 and other fragrances, especially this uh, Zanzibar that you guys are saying everyone hates. I liked it, so I can't wait to talk about that as well. So I'll see you guys on the next video. God bless, take care, peace.